Hey there everyone, Phil Show here and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be trying out Terranil, which is a fairly new game that just came out recently, which has a really unique setting. Basically, you go to a barren wasteland of a world and try to repopulate it with flora and fauna. As you replant it, you try to get all of the elements going for the new life for that world. And just as you came to the world, at the end you pack up and leave it as it is, without any touch of the technology you used. I think it's a really unique idea and I quite love it for sure. So we'll be trying out now and see how the game goes. Let's go for a new restoration. Okay, so this is the dead world, the, the last leaf of this barren wasteland that once had millions of millions and trees and animals probably. The bad part is that this is, how can I say, the future that awaits us if things go as they are at the moment. Beginner's Guide to Ecosystem Restoration This book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring an environment from a wasteland to a thriving ecosystem. In the pages that follow you will find descriptions of the regions, flora and fauna you are likely to encounter. The book also contains blueprints of machines and structures that will help you in your task. If you are successful, you will eventually no longer need this book. When that happens, I ask that you pass it along that it may serve someone else. Gardener, I want to create beautiful, vibrant landscapes, recommended for players seeking a more relaxing experience. Ecologist, I want to re restore biodiversity and balance to the for players with strategy game experience. And environmental engineer, ecosystem with sophisticated, not recommended for a first place. Well, yeah, I don't know what that is, but I really, really want to go with everything like this. I don't want to go with beauty, I want to go with everything like balance and biodiversity for the whole region. Also you get like uh, building unlock objective disabled, tutorial disabled, zen mode disabled. Yeah, this is good. Oh, you can't place it there but you can also only place it on the rocks, okay. You can clean the soil, try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible, okay. So the soil is getting cleaned. Some buildings can be rotated with R or the mouse wheel. Select the irrigate, 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 what? Irrigator and try this now. Wow, my English is perfect. Oh, okay. Uh, so I really need to try to get the most out of everything. So if I do this that way, I do this for this way. I'll get both sides. And if I do this for that way, I'll get everything here. If you're lost, you can always look at the handbook for hints about what you can do next. Using landscape greenery is your primary goal, but remember to keep an eye on your available resources. So we need to be careful with the resources that we spent. We can get more of this. So but for example, I need another turbine, which can be used here, but I'm gonna be losing on space there. I'm gonna try it like here. Yeah, here should be good with two of these further. Okay, this is the furthest that you can go and that's the furthest you can go on that side, but I'm gonna wait for that. And if I, for example, do a rotation from that side there, if in the future I decide to move it, let's do it like this. And on this side, we can get one more. It can, oh, it can be cool. Oh, this is, so you start off from a small patch and go on. We need to repair the rivers and everything. I just hope like this won't happen on our world. How big is the map now? Oh, this is so bigger now. Reclaim 156 more green tiles to unlock. Okay, so let's start like towards here I think we'll have an access to that side of the river as well let's do it perfectly here I can't put it in the river which is a bad maybe I can put one here and one on the other side of the river for the optimal efficiency yeah perfect here if I do it like this I'm gonna cover the whole area there 
and I'm surely gonna try one here for the whole area like this there what's this water pump pumps water to fill dry oh okay so I can make one here and I'm gonna fill up all of the rivers look how the greenery is going ah but they can't go further so I need to have more of these wait let's make a turbine here and let's make a pump like would fill up everything nice yeah perfect perfect so let's see like I can build on everything yeah right yeah so I can build it here I can build here I can even build here so let's make one here gonna make a pump like just at the top to fill up the rest of the rivers here so that's like a waterfall 14 more uh, let's see we need the this thing here now so we usually need to spread it as far as we can from the turbine so one of that and one on this side as well and at the end we can just one side from this here and one side like here what's this calcifier nearby greenery creating oh so we need this to create rocks in order to be able to put more windmills there further away we can place these the better perfect and one of these just here take care of the whole pathway there oh okay i need this to make a new river like to reach this side here if i make it just in this line that would be perfect but i needed power oh, okay i need power for that never mind probably to try and make a bigger riverbed like here there and do we remove that now uh i don't know i think you can't remove it but let's see so we'll try to greenify this area here to get rid of the poisons and everything else that's been polluting this area that's a whole new area there i will make a pump like around here to improve the water bed make one of these like towards that area there the greenery we're gonna make it like a big long chunk right about here i think that should be perfect and there it is once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants introduce fin bows wetlands and forests you will need to begin to pay attention to the local climate Ooh, okay have all of those there so now we, we need to tr make a wetland beehive oh let's make a beehive oh it may okay never mind i can make this area here a wetland or this one that one i can't this one i can 75 15 so that's one the 75 is the best one i think yeah i'm gonna try that one and what's this forest where are the trees we can pollinate all of the trees i can make one more of these i think maybe here there okay i need to make this one somewhere but i don't know where will it be different wait i'm gonna make it like around let's make it a starting point i think i should make one of those like um rivers here and this one is gonna go like towards this side here and at the end i'm gonna put like a big one going straight down and let's make it like that 
can try... Ooh, I can try this. Ah, but I'm gonna lose because of those. 61. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, let's go with this one. Ah, we need a bit more. 11 or 38? 38, let's go. Ashy nutrients. Oh, wait. What did they do? That's not a controlled fire. So it destroys my buildings that I've had before. Okay. Oh, but that allows me to craft this thing. Okay, but now I lost those parts. So I'll need to regreenify this area here. And use these ones to get this one back with plant life and climate re-established the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings as you remove your presence introduce fauna to the new custodians of these ecosystems to be the new custodians yeah perfect place for building that recycling silo oh wait okay one on that side okay let's try it like this Okay, we can even make boats that can take all of the materials. A dock right there. What's this? Pound lock. Ah, okay. What else? Like, I have so many things. What's this? Animal observatory. Allows use of sonar ping to encourage animal species to move into a habitat that is appropriate for them. Okay, so where... Wetland near... Ooh, we scanned the frog! We have a frog! Okay, this is wide open grassland. I think it should be around here. Oh, okay, we're here. We still haven't found it. Wait. Uh, we'll need to recycle these. Beehive and is on a hill. Should I scan for here? forest ah but okay 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 i need to find a beehive on a hill in a forest like it's a bit more tricky partially met in a lake oh but i need to make a lake as well where's the thing that i didn't build it i think wait okay this is a really, really humidity ideal conditions Many buildings modify the climate slightly, but some, like the cloud cedar, change it significantly. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your reclaiming journey. Okay, let's see. So, what about this? F ferns on river, river banks. But I don't have a hill. And I recycled everything so far. River near a forest. Okay, this should be the area for that. We should already have it here. We got the beaver! Perfect! Now, in for near a source of prey. It should be here. The beaver is a type of prey. Okay, we got rain now. Open grassland. There's a deer! We got it! Where's the humidifier as well? Let's make one more. 78 we need to get two more percent going come on eight percent and the last one is 90 where can i place the last one place that one there and i think i should make that one there and 93 percent for the salmon run beehive and is on a hill i think this should be like area for that and I'll be able to make a f like a forest here. Let's hope it's on the top. It's not on the bottom. I can see it's not on the bottom. So please. Okay. Perfect. 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 We'll have our forest now. 
which in turn will give, a, give us an option to plant a beehive and then we'll be able to scan and there's the brown bear now for the goose the problem with the goose is that it needs a lake but i really don't know how to make a lake there they are or should i watch them when where they land is this now a lake oh i don't have the sonar house wait sorry now i can I found it and that this thing just needs a forest so the deers can be there okay I just destroyed most of the deers but let's see if it works like this perfect we got a timber wolf and we got the goose so now we need to take everything back oh I need to uh, wait uh, one moment I need to make a power supply and an excavator from here that would go like around and there it is make a water pump fill it with water and just get everything back take those and take that one and I should be good with a 100% completion. Lift off. What's with the like helicopter things? Or is this just one small part of this world? So I will need to do more. I really find this game quite interesting the, you need to really think your moves you need to plan out ahead as you can see like you can appreciate oh what let's see like this area of this like patch of land I like the most you have the forest you have the wetlands but and you see that uh, area on the right as well is really good the lake a bit hectically made I don't know like don't love that much but this area here I don't like that much like it's empty but it seems natural like the forest is going here in a line with this one I I really, really love the game so that's a small patch of land that we managed to make greener 70% on that one so we need, we'll need to go back I think for that one desolate island let's see we need to restore four biomes on this, it seems. You will need to begin by cleaning the surrounding oceans and reintroducing plant life. Toxin scrubbers are integral as they cleanse both land and sea. So we'll be starting here on this island here. Let's first go with a turbine here. We need to, how can I say? Oh, but wait, this is, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I think I messed up again. <laughs> wait, if I do it like here, will it fill out everything like I, I want it to fill out as much as it can like so we can place it here there so that's our first batch of greenery that we can do the first thing that we, i'm gonna try to do is this one we need to re reclaim 467 pieces of ocean tiles okay also fire here so we can make this here make one of these here and one of these like here perfect of these right here and one of these right here so we have the 101 percent greenery the next step is increasing biodiversity restore beaches mangroves and tropical rainforests you also need to use the monorail network to transport coral polyops to the sea okay First of all, let's see. Uh, I need the first batch to at least increase the greenery here as well. What what if I do, do it like this? So everything is green now. There, there are some batches like here and there that are still like, how can I say? Oh, can I, should I improve on that? Let's see. 
I should have used that one there, that one there, and maybe that one there. Oh, creates a small island on which island uh, buildings can be placed. Oh, what? How does it work? Around what? Okay, so it makes it here on the ground. Perfect for this side here. I think that's usually made just to like uh, reclaim the ocean, but like we'll see. We can create a wetland. So basically we'll make this area here a wetland or something else, maybe here. Oh, this is a good area for a wetland. There's the two wetlands. Increases the salinity of the surrounding area, allowing mangroves to flourish. Okay, but what do we need for that? Construct three more combustors, but I don't have anything. I don't have any vegetation for now. And what's this? Capture sand to form beaches and dunes. Must be built on a toxin scrubber. Okay, so we can make a beach on this side. Cloud seeders to unlock. We need cloud seeders again. So we can make one there. And let's say 6%. One there. What's this now? What? Shade cloth pillar. Pillars connected in triangles form shady areas where tropical forests thrive. Must be built on the side of a cliff. So we got the biodiversity for that one. Let's see if we can make something for the jungle as well. Oh, here. Here should be a good way. Okay, we got that part. So we got animals here now. What's this? Nodes in range of one another connect to allow the movement of buildings along the monorail network. There for a mangrove and now I need coral reefs. Oh, it converts it automatically though. So nodes in range buildings around the monorail network. Coral reef. Oh, we can make all of those like that nice this was a close call well i didn't know how the like monorail actually worked but i'm glad that now it is like really good let's go with the 62 percent but i don't know how i'm gonna recycle all of this though uh we need to get the temperature up as well humidity is there but the temperature needs to be above 40. perfect we got everything the ecosystem is thriving monorails can be utilized for recycling so connect your airship to the monorail network reintroduce marine and terrestrial animals to help maintain the ecosystem when you leave okay so basically monorails are gonna be really important uh let's see we can make the ship i don't know where to put it we can make it here i think yeah What's this? Recycler station. Okay, we're gonna try to build that one later. For now I need this thing here, but I'm really running low on materials. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There should be the turtle. Perfect. This unusually shaped creature glides in the ocean near river estuaries and coral reefs. It should be around here. Okay, I need a river Oh, it should be the here. Wait. I just need the river. There's a coral reef. I need a river. Oh, there. There, there's a river. Perfect. Found a manta ray. This colorful bird makes its home in lush forest canopies beneath clear skies. What? In range? Uh, no building. Ah, okay. So we need to recycle those first for that. This water comes for food among the sand of beaches in the mud of the wetlands. So it should be around, I think, here. And now, can that. Flamingo! We got a flamingo back! This aquatic predator lives in both dense coral and in the waters of mangrove forests. And that should be there. Reef shark. And this large pelagic mammal swims in the deep waters in the ocean, far from land. 
I think it should be around maybe here. The whale. Well, yeah. So we need to recycle everything. The problem is that for recycling we need around 50 of these and we don't have nothing. Okay. Now we have a lot of materials that we can work with, so that's good. Uh, luckily we had that, like, I'm learning the hard way to be honest, so I'm hoping that we can get some materials faster. No valid target. No, I need it. I need it there though. Perfect. So we can connect it to the monorail network. Perfect. Look at the whole island. Look at how... I. It's a really fun game. It's a really relaxing thing. Like knowing that you can re fix the nature. Before I do that. I'm gonna scan. Oh wait. Uh, I can't scan because I broke down that one. Wait. There's the thing. Scan the jungle. And there's the parrot. So now... Make a monorail node just for this area here. Oh, wait. I, will I be able to reach that? Wait. Yep, perfect. Take that. And take that. So we got back the nature. We got back the parrots. Look at the coral reef as well. The mangrove jungle. Like, I love it so much. It's a really wholesome and cozy game, to be honest. 64% but I'm gonna be ending the video here I'm gonna be finishing up the game with all of these regions that we can like fix up until I get 100% completion but what do you think about this game you can try it out on Steam for yourself but it's a really chill and relaxing game it makes you think about what's happening to our world like we're headed to this desolation and we don't have like some fancy spaceship that can restore the world like i don't know what's gonna happen like for the future like a million years from now a billion years from now but still this game is a really awesome one that can make you like consider all of the choices that we do on the daily basis for our world as well but everyone if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. In any case, I'm gonna be going off now, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe!